Hi, my name is Mackenzie Keith. I studied abroad in Chengdu, China during spring of 2018. I chose China because I've studied Mandarin for years and always wanted to go to China and get to use it. I chose Chengdu specifically because in my research, I found that it's considered to be very authentically Chinese. I really wanted that as opposed to the larger, more globalized cities in China. I heard that Chengdu was much more authentic, so that is why I made my choice. One of my favorite things about Chengdu has to be the diversity between the architecture, the people, the cultures, the food, and just considering that the university is located right next to the Tibetan minority, and I think that's like the west side of the campus, well on the east side you could definitely just walk out and see like a modern day China, which is pretty cool to get a glimpse of both cultures. The most important lesson I learned while studying abroad in Chengdu is the sheer power of language. Locals are just so much more friendly and you know able to communicate with you if you have a decent set of language skills. I cannot stress that enough. Even if all you can do is order food, it really gets you a lot further in China. What I personally love the most about this particular study city is the fact that people were very generous, they're very kind and very open and willing. I finished the Shanghai tour with USAC. We started moving into Chengdu in the dorms. You know, I got, eventually got hungry, ran off to the local 7-Eleven. There was a massive language barrier going on because the cashier was trying to tell me that he didn't have enough change to give to me. Google Translate has failed me and I don't know what to do. So a young university student, he, he came up and understood the situation pretty quickly and became the translator for the both of us. He took it upon himself to pay for my things on top of his things. In America, you know, if someone does that for you, in theory, you would give them your cash. And he didn't expect anything in return. It was just a simple act of like kindness and he's like, here you go. I can't really ever get over the fact that the people are really generous and really willing to help other people out. That's what I really love about that city. One of my favorite memories from studying abroad was getting to hike Mount Ume. Mount Ume is in western China, just a little bit outside of Chengdu. As you're hiking, there are tons of Buddhist monasteries built into the mountain, so you get to see, you know, beautiful mountain sceneries and then also historical, cultural, religious relics. The most exciting part of the hike is once you get towards the end, there are monkeys and it's just a crazy, wild, beautiful place. I really enjoyed our USAC trip to Mount Ame. One of the biggest challenges I overcame while abroad was learning to live without all my little luxuries. You really do learn that things and items are not as important. I realized that, you know, I was only abroad for six months and I can go six months without anything. You know, we think we need all these items and we really don't. Study abroad has changed me into a much more confident person. Just from my experiences studying abroad in Chengdu, you know, I know I can do difficult things and I can do them in English or in Chinese. Studying abroad really empowered me and made me feel confident in my abilities to just be an adult and do things around a city. Since study abroad, I completed a year-long contract working in Beijing. Study abroad 100% you know, gave me this confidence and this push to even do something like that. Of course, I would never have ever thought to do anything like that if it wasn't for studying abroad in 2018 in Chengdu.